it's gonna give you this error motherboard fan exception and let's go and solve this problem hello welcome to scratch 3d printing in this video i will show you how i use the end 3 v3 in orca slicer let's scratch today's topic okay before we get into the video if you're like me creality print doesn't have all the features that i wanted so i use orca slicer and there are a few problems when using orca slicer on a brand new printer like the Ender 3v3 because there's no configuration for the Ender 3v3 on Orca Slicer. So I'll show you how I did it and what the process is. Before I show you, this is my way. It is just how I do it and it works for me. So I'm just doing it and showing you how I did it. So hopefully this helped you to print with Orca Slicer on your Ender 3v32. Okay, so let's start by connecting the end 3v3 to Orca Slicer. So once you open Orca Slicer, you want to go to this um, setting up here on the printer. You click that. This printer selection comes up. If you search end 3v3, there's only the end 3v3 SE, end 3v3 KE, so there's no end 3v3. Um, people say that you can select this and just change a couple settings, but I don't want to do that. So what I do is just select this. Clipper. Generic clipper printer. So I just select that at a 0.4 millimeter nozzle confirm now the my clipper will show up right here so you select that and then you click this connection right here put in your printer's ip address plus the port number 4408 or 4409 whichever one you want to use wait for this test button to um be enabled oh, let's do copy two since copy already exists so we can click test and it says that it works correctly and by the way i don't have octoprint install it's just say that it connects to octoprint so once we got that we click ok and now we have a copy of my clipper so if you want to you can rename this by clicking this edit right here click the save button rename it in the 3v3 click ok and now we have ender 3v3 but before we start printing you want to select the printable area right here this is a 220 by 220 3D printer. Click OK. The 250 printable height is actually correct. The nozzle type we want to select hardened steel because it's a hardened steel nozzle. Auxiliary part cooling fan we want to check that because we actually have it. And now we are done. We can just click save. So now let's go to the filament. Generic peeling. Go on to cooling. And now you should be able to see that auxiliary fan is enabled. If you did not enable that in the previous steps. This will be disabled because the end 3v3 actually has an auxiliary fan. Okay, so now we are all set up. You can go to speed over here. You can change all of these to your liking. But these are actually pretty close and pretty good to what the end 3v3 is. Because I checked this on Creality Print and it's actually pretty similar. So, you're ready, right? Not quite exactly. So at this point, if you try to test print something, which is what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm just going to try and test print this teeny tiny part that's gonna be coming in a future video so stay tuned for that and you know how to do that by subscribing so we click slice plate and it slices for us since we had the end 3v3 connected to orca slicer we can just click print you can upload it or you can just upload and print and it will work fine so let's do that because if you go up here and click device you can see that it's actually connected and you can see all the information from the end 3v3 but here's a problem let's go over here Let's check this. If you try to print like that, it's gonna give you this error, motherboard fan exception. If you click OK, it's gonna pop up. So it's just gonna keep popping up. I don't quite know what that is, but I know how to solve it. So let's stop this print and let's go and solve this problem. Okay, so how do you solve that problem? Well, let's go back to our printer setting. Let's select machine G code. If you look at the G code here, it's gonna heat up your bed temperature to whatever temperature you set in the setting and then it's going to heat up your nozzle to whatever temperature you have set it for your nozzle in your setting and then it's going to say print start extruder nozzle temperature and this this and this this part basically means the same thing as this part so we don't actually want this part because if we have this it's going to heat up the bed it's going to heat up the nozzle and then you're going to get oozing then it's going to be a hard time for you to clean your nozzle and for the n 3 v3 to actually probe because there's filament there so what i do is i get rid of this g-code and look at this carefully it says print start and it says print end okay so let's close that and go to our device here we can go on the left panel here click 
configuration. We're gonna go inside gcode macro.cfg file. Let's open that and look at the top right here. I'm gonna click Ctrl F to search. I'm gonna search print start. And as you can see right there, it says that there's no result. Why? I don't know. For whatever reason, it slipped. On Clipper, I believe it uses print start, but on Orca Slicer, it uses start print. So let's search that. And here we go. Look at that. Start print has seven results. So let's go one by one and see where is the G code for start print. Here we go. We found it. It's on the fourth one. So fourth one is the start print or print start, whatever it is. <laughs> okay. So if you want to edit anything there, you can go ahead and do it. For me, I'm just going to copy start print. I will go and find end print. It says end print. Remember those two. So now we got the information. Let's get out of here. Let's go back into our printer. Click edit here. Machine G code. And look at this. It says print start. But what I copy is start print. You want to replace this. So let's replace that to start print. Everything you can leave the rest. Same for this. Let's not do print in. Let's do end print. If you do this, Orgas Lesser doesn't know what that is. So your nozzle head is just going to park at the last spot that it has been printing. So you're going to get a really bad blob finish. So let's do end print. And now I'll be saving this. And we are ready to do another test print. So let's go ahead and do another test print. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, the nozzle has started. We just, we click start print and now it's doing it. It's heating up the nozzle and the bed at the same time is heating both of them simultaneously so that is very good and it only heats up to 170c instead of the temperature that you would set it to which is very nice and look at this we don't have the motherboard error anymore so that's another plus it's gonna do its calibration and then it's gonna just start printing like normal and it's gonna end really nicely it's not gonna end where the print ends it's gonna and the nozzle head is gonna go up here. The bed is gonna sling forward. It still even does the nozzle wiping at the end there. And yeah, look at that. Both of them are heating up at the same time, which is very nice. If you don't do this, it's gonna heat up the bed and then it's gonna heat up the nozzle and then you're gonna get oozing and it's gonna cause a lot of problem. But by doing this, it starts perfectly and it ends perfectly. So let's go. Well, that is basically it about how I set up the N3V3 to work on the Orca Slicer before I was getting the motherboard error event and I did not know what that was it was getting annoying but I just keep pressing OK or sometimes I just let it do its thing and it actually prints fine but by doing it that way the bed heats up and then the nozzle heats up to your printing temperature and then it's gonna ooze you're gonna have a hard time cleaning it up but by adjusting those G code macro for start print and end and print it works perfectly fine it prints normally everything is working great and yeah let me know if this helped you and as always keep on 3d printing